Hi guys, today we'll be talking about Lexus RX330, but if you have similar either Toyota or Lexus, you might have a similar problem. Hard to get the 140 fuse out, and most of them, the 140 ones, there are screwed in, so I took a lot of stuff on mine off. So what you want to do first is remove a bolt to take this out of the way and then it just slides off like there's that right here slides off and you move it out of the way and then you take this bracket off which is one two screws then you put it out of the way and then you take unscrew this to unscrew this there's bolt one two three once you unscrew this but before all this take the battery off so it's not on your way in your way once you do that, you're gonna have this fuse box, and to pull this out, it needs to come down. But before you do that, you have this on the side, sitting like this, pull it out. There's two screws, one, two, right here. You unscrew this one, this one, and then you pull it out, and unplug all this, just remember where it all goes unplug all these put this aside and then this should be able to go down the whole wiring thing not up but down it goes all the way down i'm not sure if i forget anything but i'll be putting it together maybe you'll be able to see it and the first screw is right here that's for 140 if you need to take this fuse off the screw is on this side but yeah, you just need to take, if you need 140, you just take this screw, one screw off here, and then you have to go on this side, it's behind the wires. You slide off this plastic cover right here, you just slide it off, pop it off, and then there's, you take the screw off from this side as well. And it's right here, it's with this thing, this wire holds on to it, right there, that that fuse and then the fuse will get free and then i went and i got the new new used fuse and i'll be installing it so let's get to it so this is the fuse this is what it looks like it's 140 i don't know if you can see it it says right there 140 i couldn't find it at an auto parts store you might be able to find other dealers but and i uh Got a went to the junkyard, took it off Sienna. So first, what you want to do is install it inside the box. I don't think it matters which way it goes. Slide it in there. slides nice and smooth so what I'm gonna do is screw it in from this side it's the number 10 socket that's the white wire so I screw it in from one side as you can see the fuse is in right in there i screwed in from this side you just don't mess up the wires just go between the wires and this is the white it goes inside with the screw and that's 10 millimeter you screw it in once you're done this side then you screw it in on this side Like I said, I'm putting it together. You can just watch from the end start or because I didn't record when I was taking it off.
trying to figure it out make sure i do step by step but yeah so once you screw this in but if you're doing backwards you're unscrewing it and you put it back in but yeah another thing is i forgot to mention there's a cover underneath you take it off it has like clips or something not clips but these and it comes off and then you pull this down don't forget this cover plus cover it separates right here it goes in here where you screw it in the wires from here and that so what they won't touch You can put these screws now, I think. Or put them later. I'll put them now so this box doesn't move for me. Once you install the bottom box, and it just clips on here, I think two here, one on the back, one here, and right here.
So once you tighten three bolts, one, two, three. That's tight. Put this one on. So before you put this on, put this cover, it just, how it does, it just slides in this way, twisted, goes inside. And then you put this on. Don't forget to put this cover on. So let's see if it starts. My battery is kind of low, so I have to jump it. But let's see if the car starts. Because when the fuse wasn't there or burned, it wouldn't start. Let's put the key in. Car starts. Switches the gears. Everything seems to work. So yeah. If you have similar problem, if you burnt 140 fuse, that's how you replace it on this car. But yeah, that's what also happens. I think we, what we did is, we accidentally, when we jumped it, we switched the ground with plus because it doesn't really say anywhere where it's red or black. I, I thought that was ground because it's all black, but 
that's positive and this negative but make sure you know where it's at it shows like right underneath over there that it's positive because if you jump it backwards it can kick that fuse off or burn the fuse which this one was i think 140. it can also fry some other stuff maybe even computers so be careful make sure you double check thank you for watching if you have any questions comment below and i'll see you in the next one